together to try to bring you, okay, thank you. It looks as though uh, we're going to be messages to bring you information on how you can build your brand and most of all, get paid for it. Guys, uh, I come from the Trump Organization, and what we did and what we do is we teach people all the ins and outs of real estate, entertainment, uh, working with online platforms like Clubhouse and um, all the other major entities. And the first thing I want to say is you have to realize, and I'm just going to just kind of have a flow of consciousness here. If you want to say something, feel free to uh, jump on the stage. Um but the first thing you got to do is realize that one thing that you're going to have to do in order to be able to get uh, an audience is to be consistent. You're going to have to absolutely be there, and so people understand who you are. Have a have a uh, have uh, have a, um, a, a bio that's accurate, where they can go and they can get other information to follow up to either work with you, be a guest, or something. And uh, Podcasting can make you a lot of money. One thing I mentioned today is getting on SiriusXM. Uh, there's a bunch of people on this app that have a great platform. They have the ability to get people to tune in and listen. Now, that's one thing you have to realize that it's not just people from Clubhouse. It's people right now that are listening all over the world. This show is being taped and then will be re-syndicated, and I'll teach you guys about syndication. Because syndication means that if you're in a room and you're talking to, say, oh, there's only 20 or 30 people in a row, you have the ability to use that track you put an intro like you just heard, you put an outro, and that becomes your podcast. You can also monetize that because people will pay to hear what you have to say. There are a lot of people that are just getting started in the business, and I'll tell you one thing that we found out, and it took us about, about a year to figure this out, my friends, is one thing that we found out is that there is a huge difference between podcasts that are audio and podcasts that are video-based. You're going to get a lot of traction if you have video-based podcasting. So we, uh, when I'm not in Hawaii, I'm here on vacation right now, and I don't have access uh, to a studio, so I use KOHAOA, our NBC affiliate. Um, and uh, I use our NBC affiliates all over the country whenever I travel. That gives great content. So if you take my name, Robert Paisola, P-A-I-S-O-L-A, and add a dot com, you're going to see exactly what it is that we do. And we find that there are so many people that are, are talking in podcasts and trying to get their word out, but they don't have the passion. They don't have the, the understanding of what it takes to be able to build a brand. And when I'm talking about building a brand, I'm talking about Facebook. I'm talking about Instagram. I'm talking about, um, for instance, on YouTube to make sure that you're monetized. And if you're not writing this out, it's very important. To go on YouTube is to get um, 1,500 followers, and to get over 4,000 hours of content that's being played. Uh, that's important, and if you want to do that, we have uh, two channels on YouTube, one of which is um, called Epic Economist, E-P-I-C, Economist, E-C-O-N-O-M-I-S-T, and then there's one under my name. Uh, guys, that is how we got notified. We got noticed. And that started during the depths of uh, the uh, pandemic. We started that, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally, we got up to a half a million people. And now those people are listening on the other platforms. So cross-platform monetization is something that we have to do. Now, there are some people on here that are absolutely, essentially perfect uh, at doing what they do on Clubhouse. But the question then becomes, Rob, do I just spend all my time in Clubhouse, or do I use other platforms? Well, the answer to that is, is, is the following. You should not ever do a podcast or do a broadcast on this app unless, number one, you're recording. Number two, you inform your audience you're recording. Number two, three, you actually download and use that recording to be able to syndicate. So just to give you an idea, we're going to take this broadcast. I'm going to send it overseas to one of our partners on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And they're going to put all the bells and whistles and uh, put the pauses and take out the uhs and, and anything that, that uh, makes it so that it slows it down. Once it's going to be perfected, then it will go out, and it will go out over all of our platforms, over Western Capital Multimedia, and what you need to also realize is we use terrestrial radio. What is terrestrial radio? Terrestrial radio is like when you are in your car and you're at 107.9 uh, 
uh, the end or you know you're looking at something and we're sponsored by Westwood one so we use the Westwood one radio network and that is that in itself uh, gets us uh, a lot of listeners so whenever people hear what we're doing um, most of the traffic is all done offline and it's done at a later time uh, so, for instance, today this broadcast is being broadcast on Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. The time is 6.06 p.m. here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm on vacation, my friends, and hello, Rick. Uh, it's very great to see you, my friend. Very, very good to see you, Rick. Um, and, and you guys need to understand that, that as we're talking, terrestrial radio has the ability to take you to a level that you've never experienced. Now, I know this sounds foreign to some people, but understand, if you have the ability to connect with your audience, you have the ability to build a brand, then all you have to do is, as I said, we are going to be consistent. We're going to be pitching the people that have top rooms. Now, let's talk about that, and I'll just uh, throw Rick, I'll just use Rick as an example. Rick has a huge, tremendous following, and he has a great uh, experience, he has a great experience in broadcast radio. Um, I come from NBC, he comes from um, uh, a different area also. So it would be beneficial if, for instance, Rick were in a room, and him and I were to say, you know what, Rick, I'm going to interview you on my podcast or on, uh, on our live feed, and you then interview me. Now, let me tell you what that does. <clears throat> what that does is it gives Google the illusion and understanding that you're being noticed. Notice if you put out a podcast yourself and you even index it on Google, you're going to be rated much, much higher on somebody else's podcast than you will be on your own. So when you're on the podcast, absolutely realize, guys, this is the most important thing. It doesn't matter if there are two, three, four, five, or ten people in the room. You're always talking to 10,000 people minimum. Now, why is that? Because the people that pay you, and let's talk about pay, what kind of money I'm talking about. The people that pay you money, the people that pay you money to get you to, uh, to go on their, their, uh, their platform, for instance, Sirius Radio, uh, the average the average rate of pay for Sirius Radio is ninety five thousand six hundred dollars per year, and that's for people that create content. Now, what do we do on this pod? What do we do on this platform? We're creating content. Now, there are some content creators on here that I absolutely look up to. They have an amazing sense. It's almost a computerized algorithmic view of the way to get their audience either incensed or a way to get them to listen. But you know what? They always have the ability to get their people and listen to what's going on. So once you're in the game and once you have a series of podcasts, we have one called uh, Change Your Mind, Change Your Life. And you'll notice that it is all over the world. We're in 47 countries and we're in four different languages. Well, Rob, that sounds great. But what did you do to start? Guys, I started by being in the pandemic just like you. And I said, guys, how can I bring my word? What can I do to be able to take this time and put myself in front of people and give people value, but at the same time, possibly create an upside for me when the entire world was nothing but a downside. Interesting question, isn't it? Now, what you have to realize is there are people that are listening and there are people that come into rooms and they don't necessarily go on the stage, but they are listening for all different uh, stations. They're listening for guests. And what you need to do is there is nothing wrong with self-promotion. Now, I met him. Hey, Jimmy, I'm Mr. Blanco. Good to talk. Good to see you, my friend. Um, there is nothing wrong with self-promotion. And you need to realize that as you're talking, people are going to say, wow, there's something different about this person that I want this guy on my side. Or I want this guy to be a guest on my show. Or I want him to be able to talk about financial issues People that are being kicked out of their house, people that are losing money, people that are having financial issues and they just can't seem to get over it. People that don't understand what Clubhouse is as the gateway to success. So as I said, let's be very, very clear. Never, ever, ever would I open a room if I weren't going to record it and I weren't going to take it and send it overseas. Now, I didn't say send it to Westwood One, to our partner. I said send it overseas and they're going to uh, mix it down and create an absolute, absolute perfect broadcast and make it much, much better than I could. And I have the ability and I have all the programs, but uh, why would I trust myself uh, when I have people that are much, much, much better? So with that in mind, guys, it comes down to this. What you want to do is you want to get on what's called terrestrial radio. You want to find other stations around the globe that will bring you on as a guest. 
For instance, if you're in, I'm in Las Vegas, you can go to KLAS or you can go to Las, get shows uh, in Los, Los Angeles, uh, Atlanta. I, I've been on all the shows you can get on that are connected to a major uh, forum to be able to uh, be able to. Uh, I, 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 it's almost simple, as simple as saying if, if you have if you have a station that's an iHeartRadio affiliate. I don't care if it's going to be in the middle of uh, Arkansas. I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it and I'm going to record that and then we're going to re-syndicate it. Now, you have to realize, Rick has been probably the expert on this. And I'm going to ask Rick to come up to the stage if you can because you have such an absolute clear and like clear path on this and where you've been. But guys, when you're on, when you're on terrestrial radio and people are calling in, right, and they're asking you questions and their life is in the balance, realize how many people do you know right now that are having problems financially? They need somebody they can trust. They don't want to be around people who do nothing but just simply pander to them. They have real issues. They have their real, their real estate's being foreclosed on. They're having trouble with uh, marital issues. I don't care what it is. I'll talk about anything, anytime, anywhere for any amount of time as long as it's being recorded. Why? Because there's two things we do. Number one, we send it out and we transcribe it into four different languages, and that goes all over the world. So we're popular all over the world and even in Nigeria, and you can tell by your analytics where that is. Now, you also want to make sure that you're monetized on YouTube. So you want to spend as much time as possible getting monetized, and we can help you with that. You want to get monetized on YouTube so that you are able to receive value and money for all of the listeners. We have sometimes have over a million listeners on the FAK Economist, E-P-I-C, E-C-O-N-O-M-I-S-T. And uh, it's, it's very, 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 uh, it's a good thing to have, uh, but you're going to get paid for it. Now, that is the economy that we're dealing with right now. And we know that there's nothing worse than the economy as we're dealing with it right now. If you're, if you're, if you're current on current events and you understand what's happened with interest rates, and you understand that now it's a difficult time to buy a house and all these other things are going on. This is what we do. We figure out what it is people need. And you know what? What I don't find uh, that's fair, I don't find it fair for them to be kicking people out of their house. I don't find it fair for people to be, uh, be, uh, have their rent be doubled. So what we do as, an, as a company, my, my company, Western Capital International, is we work with people. And we go against uh, debt collectors, for instance. We go against people that are suing people like you who are listening around the world. They uh, are very – we are very aggressive. All you got to do is type my name, Robert Paisola, and then you're going to type the word SoundCloud. And you can listen to some of those calls. And I will very, very easily say that we prevail in 90 – over 90 percent of the cases. Why do we do that? Well, the reason we record calls with debt collectors and people that are trying to take advantage of our clients, a lot of times they're uh, not just straight white people. It's, uh, it's, it, they, they go against everybody and they manipulate people. We record those and then we transcribe those. Why do we transcribe? Guys, write this down. We transcribe because that's how Google picks up all the words that you're hearing me say right now. Every single word is picked up. Now, how do you do that? Well, that's, that's another thing. You take this audio feed and you upload it, and there are sites where you can actually have the uh, content turned into the written word. The written word then is uh, fed into Google, and that's why you'll have one million hits on your brand or your name or whatever it is. Now, any, any type of platform that uh, hosts podcasting, restream, uh, any of the major podcasting we participate in there's i don't think there's anything and we do stuff in europe so all of it does take a little bit of an investment to get yourself out there but realize guys that once you're out there they're then going to start coming to you so that's where the money starts as i said if you want to get on um sirius xm $95,000 on E6000 is exactly where you're going to end up. Now, if you have somebody who is a celebrity, who's a friend, as I do, as many of you know, I live in Las Vegas, so I use my friends and I interview my friends. Why would I do that? Because those friends have a listening following. And I make a deal, write this down, I make a deal that the intellectual property that we share during the podcast will be co-branded by myself and by their team. In other words, I'm not just going to be a guest, but I have the right to re-syndicate and redistribute that information. Now, what, what's so, what is so powerful about that? 
What is so powerful about that? Well, what's powerful is that, I don't know if any of you know this, but when you listen to that intro, we're sponsored by Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz picked me up, uh, and now I'm picked up by Samsung, Mercedes-Benz, and um, American Express. Those are some powerful, powerful brands. If I did not have those brands backing me, I would not have the ability to do what I do. Now, again, you have to get out of your mind. Oh, my gosh, there's only a couple people listening. I've done rooms when there's been nobody in the room. But you're creating the content, and then it goes into replay on this platform. And people who know who you are will listen. People like Rick who have been in terrestrial radio understand the value. It's kind of like if you remember growing up, guys, you would listen to FM 97, F01, Los Angeles, whatever. Right? You knew that show was coming out, and it had four hours of just awesome content. That's exactly the same thing you're doing here, except you're doing it at your leisure. Now, when you're on Sirius, it's completely different because you get a scheduled time, and a lot of that is caller call-in shows, and they have uh, producers, and they, you know, but they, but just so you know, you don't have to fly to Los Angeles to have a, uh, a cast on that. They'll they'll do it all completely remote. So all you do is you simply log in, and their producers, you know, say go, and then all of a sudden they have the breakouts. What makes money? Well, what makes money is when you're talking, people are going to continue to listen. They're going to invite their friends. And if you notice on Clubhouse, a lot of people have figured this out. But they say, okay, guys, share this room, share this room, share this room. We don't do that. And I think even in my title, I say you'll never, ever hear me pitch. I don't pitch on Clubhouse. I use Clubhouse for a completely different reason than most people do. Okay? There's a great friend of mine uh, named Freddie. And Freddie is a, is a absolutely awesome guy uh, who uh, has – Amazing talent, and I and I and I talk to Freddie offline, and is nothing like his online personality. Neither is Rick. Neither none of us are. We all have a personality that brings people to the table. Because if people are having problems, uh, kind of like Dave Ramsey, you're going to listen to what their issues are. And some people uh, have business advice. Some people we work with people that uh, are looking for business uh, credit, personal credit. That are looking for mentors, or they're looking for coaches. And I've been all of the above. So the good thing is, is that you're not having to pay $500 an hour to talk to me. You're able to come into a room and listen and ask questions. And we actually answer your questions live on stage. And it's really interesting because the people then, as they're being um, recast and they're listening, they're like, oh, I, that's a great question. I didn't know that that's what happened. And especially during the pandemic, my friends, everybody was freaking out. And everybody was upset financially because they just didn't know what to do. They didn't know how they were going to keep their job. They didn't know about this everybody stay home thing and so now what's happening well now we have about the quiet quit you guys heard about quiet quit that means people who just simply are saying i'm going to do the minimum amount possible and i'm not going to necessarily stay at my job or i will stay at my job but i'm not really gonna i'm not excited about it and that's a question that we have why is it why is it that so many people do not want to work why is it why is it that whatever thing? Thank you for sharing, my friends. I really appreciate the fact that you're sharing this room. Thank you so much. Why is it that so many people are sitting back and waiting, but they're not picking up and taking action and moving forward with what their dream is? Why is that? Why is it that they're not looking for mentors and coaches and people that have done it? Why is that? It's magical. It's magical because all you have to do is you have to have a voice and have a statement and have people understand that what you are telling them is not a sales pitch. You then realize what I'm going to tell you next. Remember we talked about that Los Angeles radio station that goes from four hours in the morning, knew exactly when it was. That's how you get it done because then you become a guest on these national network shows. There's a lot of talk radio shows. Now, I will suggest strongly that you find stations that are syndicated. So if you are going to be a guest on a station, you, 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 you can do one. As like I said, as long as it's uh, somebody is on a major network, right? Somebody who uh, is able to – they're syndicating you. And again, before you ever go live on a broadcast that's going to be – in the terrestrial realm, make sure that you have an understanding that you're able to share that content. So that means if they're going to say, this is sponsored by Rick Jones Chevrolet out of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, that that's okay that you can use that in your broadcast. Why? Because that's going to tell people in Maine and New Hampshire and in Florida that you're going to go on their show. 
What else does it do? It gives you the ability, gives you the ability to use this as your calling card. In other words, by the time people end up talking to me, they already know what I'm going to say. They've already heard. I don't have to pitch myself, you see. They know exactly that it's going to be awesome. They know the dials are going to light up. And you know what? Sometimes we talk before and we say, okay, we're going to pitch this today. This is what we're trying to do. And I say pitch, I'm talking about these are the problems we're having right now. You know, Rob, uh, we, we, we just had, you know, 500 evictions in this town. And what are we doing right now? We don't know what to do. So we talk about that and we bring people online and we, we work with them. And they get absolutely, absolutely addicted to our advice and we work with them. And absolutely at no cost. That's the magical thing. Because they don't have to pay whenever we're giving it away for free. Think about that. But then there are some people who are CEOs and presidents of companies that say, okay, I want that voice. I want that person to come and teach my team, to work and work with my team to sell. Now, I come from a background of being on the stage. I sell and at Trump, that's what we did. We went on. We were the guys that called you, and you would go to a hotel, and we would talk to you and sell you books, tapes, and uh, marketing materials, or be able to set up your business, whatever it happens to be. I helped co-write those brands, and I created what's called the collateral for those. So I have a lot of information to give out to those that choose to listen. If you want to follow us, guys, just simply go to Robert Pizzola, R O B E R T Pizzola, P A I S O L A dot com, and you can see how we do things. Also, you can follow me on this platform uh, here, and you can also, I think, I think it's connected uh, directly to um, it's connected directly to our Twitter feed. Um, but you know what? I, I, I want you to understand the the value of being available and being consistent. What is consistency? I could say, you know what? I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm on vacation, so I'm not going to do a podcast. I don't need to. Well, guys, that's nice, but I don't have content backed up. Okay, I need content that's raw, that's real. Okay, the queen just passed away, so if I mention something about uh, something that happened and uh, it, the queen, uh, it, she was buried yesterday, people are going to know. They're going to they're going to know that timeline. So you really can't fool the listener base. Okay, but that's why you always demand that you go live. And I, and I can't express enough. And Rick, can I invite you to the stage to talk about terrestrial radio? Because uh, we, I don't think that's a topic that's discussed a lot. And if you're not here, that's fine, Rick. But uh, uh, guys, what that is, is that's the ability to listen, be listened to by other people. There it is, Rick. Thanks so much, bud. Um, so, um, yeah, it, it, to be able to get your voice out to a lot of people. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Welcome to the show today. It's Rob Pizzola, and I'm glad to have you on the stage, Mr. Parody. Hey, Rob. Thanks for having me up. Hey, no problem. Hey, you know, we're talking today about uh, basically getting your vision out there and letting people follow you and finding the players, the players who want to put you on their station, whether it's going to be on terrestrial radio, which I want you to talk about, and also whether it's going to be like Sirius XM satellite radio, which is obviously the new way, but by using these platforms and how you can monetize on these platforms. What do you think about that, Rick? Well, I mean... When it comes to, to terrestrial, that's definitely something I, I, I know of. And I tell you, one of the main things starting in radio, all we wanted to do was get on the microphone, get into radio. And then later on, we actually, you know, learned the business of radio. And it's a multi, it's a multi-billion dollar business. And it's all about advertising. And today, if you don't have the goods, uh, you don't have a, a space. I mean, you know, talent gets you in the door, but knowing business keeps you in the door. And when I saw this this title, you know, I saw Sirius, and and there's one person that definitely knows about it, and he's in the audience. That's that's came in uh, Kelly. That that title itself attracted me. He's actually on Sirius Radio. Sorry to put you on the spot, Cayman, but um. Yeah, I'm just following. Him. I'm, I'm just following him right now. Yeah, yeah, no he, problem. yeah, he he's on serious right now. But you know, radio. I mean, it, it's it's about the goods. It's about um, you you have to really just advertise yourself on almost every platform that's out there. And more than anything, I tell these um these creators that you're being watched, uh, and some of you are being seriously vetted to possibly do a, a, a serious or a terrestrial or some big podcast. I think a lot of people kind of shoot themselves in the foot because they just want to, you know, I guess be the biggest on the app, but they have so much potential and everything you do on each platform can either really make or break you. 
So yeah, no, this is a great one conversation. Thing, one, yeah, one thing also, Rick, is let's talk about consistency. You know, uh, and this is where I, I find it interesting. There's a lot of people that that will go out and put their uh, Facebook page up, but it talks about how they got drunk last night and went to a party. Um, right. If if you're going to be in the public eye, my friends, you cannot do that. You must have a consistent relationship with your with your viewership and your listenership, so they understand that you are there for them. So you know you're not trying to be wishy washy on everything. And as Rick said, it's not just on this application. There's a lot of different ways to get their attention, right? And when people find out that you have a, a, a five hundred thousand people following following you over on YouTube, right? That gets their attention. It gets their attention. So they're saying, why? Why do these people do it? And why is the count going up? And they look at the analytics because the analytics do not lie. The analytics do not lie. And that is what brings in, as Rick just said, the advertising dollars. That's why we're sponsored. If you guys heard the beginning of the program, that's the reason we're sponsored by Mercedes. That's the reason we're getting Samsung. That's the reason we're getting American Express. Because we bring people to the stage. And when we do that, we're very cautious to make sure that we bring people who have value. And when you listen to Rick, you can just tell he is telling you exactly, exactly what it's like to be able to be successful because he's been successful in terrestrial radio. Now, I have found it very, very positive, very true that you can pyramid your terrestrial radio play with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. Okay, people are going to listen to you, and then they're going to Google it, and they're going to put, they're going to listen to everything you do. Please, and that's not... that's why I'm go, go, here. Go, yeah, go ahead, Rick. Please, <laughs> no, go ahead, that's why I'm here. I mean, I I really wanted to know, you know, how I could just really uh, you, you just grow this into a direction like that. I mean, I'm listen, I'm 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 a free agent, if you will. I'm with the syndicator, but I don't belong to any radio station. I'm on in Chicago and Seattle, and I'm just really looking to grow. And I'm I'm just really here for the answers. Yeah, and, and that's awesome. And by the way, guys, uh, today we are speaking to a special guest, Rick Party. He is a VIP on uh, Clubhouse, and he's also uh, been in your shoes. This man understands what it's like to start from nothing. And you might look at his, his follower count and say, oh, wow, he's got 30,000 people. But guys, Rick speaks to millions of people. How did Rick do that? Well, number one, as I said, consistency. Number two, he was able to bring his voice to the public and listen to what they needed. And a lot of times we as hosts, we get phone calls and we're on television. I'm on NBC a lot and I get videos and people ask questions that put us on the spot Okay, all the time. So I'm what you call one of those talking heads for the news. So, you know, if people have a question, they'll put me on TV and I'll, you know, I'll come in through satellite and that's the way we do it. I do that for self-branding. Now, why did Rick just say a second ago that he's a free agent? Why did he say that? What that means is Rick is not somebody who's strictly tied to Westwood One. He's not strictly tied to anyone. Rick has the ability to determine when and what he's going to talk about. He also has the ability to take the shows that he has to put them together and to send them out as his demo reel. You'll find out that if you're in television news, as I have been, you have to have a demo reel in order to get on the news. To be on Fox News, they want to see what you've been able to do. To be able to get on a national radio show, they want to see what you've been able to do. Do you have the ability to hold people's attention? Do you have the ability to bring people to the level where they want to go? Do you have the ability to help people meet their goals and dreams and needs? You see, that's the interesting thing. And many of you are probably saying, wait a second, Rick's the expert, so why is he talking to Rob? Well, you know what? I look at Rick and I say, Rick's the expert. I'm talking to him. You see, we work together. There is no challenge in this because, as he said, we are free agents and we are bringing each other to the next level. And I'll tell you one thing, my friends. I hope you guys understand this. And Cayman, I, I, I honor you by and thank you for stopping by and being in the room. You need to find people who you can co-brand with, find people who you can work with, find people who you have uh, uh, the ability to uh, bounce off of and then go live. Now, let me tell you a little secret. Since I live in Las Vegas, since I live in Las Vegas, since I live in Las Vegas, I have 4K microphones and I take them out and I meet with top celebrities wherever I go because I have media credentials. Let me say that again, just as Rick will tell you, if you have media credentials, you have the ability to have access. 
Write that down, my friends. Access. Access means the ability to go to the Grammys, to be able to go to these award shows or whatever it is and ask questions. But when you do that, especially when you're on camera and if you look the part on camera, then you're going to get a tremendous following. OK, keep that in mind. That's what we're trying to do all day long. Rick, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you to, if you could tell us some of the some of the, the obstacles that you had, my friend, because we both know that you didn't start out just you know walking out and saying, OK, I'm going to go on, uh, you know, K-Rock and we're going to start it today. Tell what, what kind of what kind of I don't I don't want to say um, uh, turn downs, uh, neglect, uh, no's, the no's you have to get used to because they happen all the time. But when you first start out, you got You have to have friends. You have to, somebody's going to say, man, this guy knows what he's doing. He's amazing. Rick, tell us about your experience in being able to, you know, get on the Truster radio and then move to something like Clubhouse and maybe what your plans are for something like Clubhouse, because I'm sure that it's right in line with what we're talking about, my friend. You know, I just had a lot of honest people around me that told me in the very beginning that I'll never make it. And that's how they felt. And uh, that made me work harder with everything that I that I would do. And my mom would say to me, hey, you're um, you have a speech impediment. And I was like, well, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, I was a kid. So I, I had to take speech lessons. I stutter uh, when I'm nervous today. I stuttered a whole lot when I was a kid. So I had a lot of things working against me. But it made me work harder, you know, harder than the average person as a kid. I'd listen to the radio. I'd write everything down that the uh, radio personality would, would say. And if I didn't know what that word meant, I'd go look it up. Um, you know, I matched my, my sound to the radio personality sound. I made the phone calls directly to the program directors and the radio personalities to sit right next to them and get to know everything that they knew. I did this day in and day out. Not only did I get to know the radio personalities that were in my hometown, I, you know, I, I found radio personalities that were in other cities that other people would not listen to. And I thought, you know, in my city, they were the best in Chicago. And but I learned that there are even some that are uh, much greater in Chicago. So I really just did my homework day in and day out, much like my son, Patrick, who's in the audience right now. He's not going to speak, but he's a uh, he 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 makes beats. He's a producer. He's a kid. He, it, I would always tell him, you remind me of myself when I was a kid. Yeah. I spend day in and day out on this. And sometimes it's not about the big university that you attend. Sometimes it's about the hours that you put into uh, something. And, and that's that's what truly made me just my my hard work ethic. I always tell people that, you know, talent will get you in the door. But the hard work, the grind, that's what's going to keep you in the door and the reliability. People have to be able to rely on you. And for the most part, any and everything that I've done. Uh, has been based on my my turnaround, the fact that I'm uh, reliable. I never say that I'm the best at anything that I do, but if I love something, I'm going to give you 100% of it. And people will see that because more than anything, they want a business partner. They don't really care about how talented you are. If you're really talented and we can rely, rely on you, that you're a keeper. And as far as here in Clubhouse, you know, from the, from, from the, um, you know, from the onset, when it, when I joined in 2020, I, I started on Clubhouse and they had the Lion King. So I was a narrator there uh, and it gave me prominence here on Clubhouse. So a lot of people didn't know of Rick Party or, you know, me on the radio or they probably heard my voice, but they didn't know anything about me because for the most part, voiceover people and radio people were kind of behind the scenes. They don't see much of us, but that gave me wings here on Clubhouse. And immediately I started a voiceover class and that's been successful. I've been doing that. Uh, uh, pretty much since December 2020, and that's manifested to to me now uh, launching my probably what is the the I'm making history last week, having the first voiceover class in the metaverse on Horizons World, and it wow. it was uh, it was amazing. Congratulations, and, uh, Rick! I you, no, know, you, you talk you talk about voiceover work, and my friends in the audience, listen carefully to this. You have to realize you have a superstar on the stage right now. Mr. Party is absolutely, and I'll tell you all of his credentials here in a few minutes, but voiceover work is when companies come to you and say, Rob, we want you to do this commercial for uh, television. When a sprint comes to you and says, we want you to be this voice for this market. They just listen to what you're doing. How are they going to do it? Because they're going to listen to everything you've already done, and then they're going to tweak it and say, does this work in our market or does it not? And if you do, you get paid. Guess what, my friends? Write this down. You get paid per word. Whenever you go to Disneyland, there's a gentleman who says, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Disney. 
every single word he got paid. I think it was like five hundred dollars because he's on uh, he's on um, uh, on on uh, TikTok, and and it's amazing as you listen to what it is. But they choose the voice that they want. As Rick says, a lot of times we are behind the scenes. Now, what's interesting also is we're behind the scenes, but on Clubhouse. We're kind of in front of the scenes, you see, because we're kind of creating this this atmosphere as we move forward. And as Rick said, guys, keep this in mind. Follow me for a second, this line of thinking. Rick himself said that he talked to the producers, the show people, the station managers in Chicago. What chance is it that those people know people in Los Angeles, New York, New Orleans, uh, Boston, other people, that if you get to know them and you're not trying to use them, but you're talking to them as friends, what are the chances those people could then assist you to get connected with those people that can put you on Trust Your Radio? Wow. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? So you have to parallel the opportunity. Go ahead, Rick. I thought I thought there was a question to me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, no, I mean, that's really just how simple it is. I mean, for example, the, the biggest companies out there are iHeart, um, Odyssey, uh, Cumulus, and the list goes on. I mean, you never know. I mean, it's, it's really just that easy. You do well in one city and uh, program director, uh, uh, the, the manager can make one simple phone call and you can be heard nationwide. It's just really as simple as that. So I was just, yeah. I was, yeah, I was just kind of echoing what you, what you were saying there. Absolutely. My friends, uh, this is Rob Paisal, and I am the CEO and president of Western Capital Multimedia. Today's guest and a very, very special guest is a gentleman named Rick Party. He's uh, online at The Rick Party Show. Go catch him on Instagram. Also, if you go, I am Rick Party, that's his Twitter. You can go to rickparty.tv. You can go to rickparty.com. Many of our viewers are across the globe, around the world, and as you're listening, what you want to do, if you want to contact myself or my team, you can contact us uh, toll-free in the United States, 1-800-373-8913. And that will also be able to get you on our show live whenever we do a live show. Uh, And you'll be able to call if you're calling from overseas. You can dial 702-219-3624. And you'll be able to use your company, your excuse me, your country prefix code. And you'll be able to dial right into our corporate offices in Las Vegas. Guys, uh, we are here to help you. And let me give you an email. It's Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T, at W-C-I, live, L-I-V-E, dot com. So if you have any questions or you feel like you, this is a good match for you, take the time, reach out, because as Rick said, you never, never, never know. You never know who's going to be there. And some people are going to listen to you and they're going to go, wow. Because I hear people asking all the time, Rob, I love the fact that you can do what you do, but the bottom line is how am I going to monetize and make money of being on Clubhouse? I don't want to waste my time. You know what? We're not wasting our time. Everything we do is absolutely calculated, it's very clear, and it is poignant. And that's how we have the followers. If you want to follow us on YouTube, go to Epic, E-P-I-C, Economist, E-C-O-N-O-M-I-S-T, and you'll see we have 500,000 listeners and viewers. Now, I told you guys earlier when we first started this show, and then we're going to go ahead and close. Uh, I told you that there is a big difference that we're finding in our analytics, and that's the numbers that verify the number of people and the number of uh, in people, individuals and institutions that are listening behind having a live studio with video and being able to syndicate live content for television. Remember, if you, you have the ability now to create your own direct TV channel, to create your own uh, your, your own uh, Dish Network channel, and to get on Sirius XM. How do you get on Sirius? Well, you got to know somebody. That's the first thing. You have to be somebody who is somebody that has a voice that says, you know what? This guy is going to be somebody who's going to bring an audience and going to be able to bring a lot of people to the, the table. And you know what? People look back and go, oh, my God, that all started with Clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, it, it probably did. But if you have that ability, people will never, ever, ever go unnoticed. Now, remember what Rick said, guys. Let me just keep this in mind. Radio right now is a multi-billion dollar business. But let's be real. Media is changing as we speak. The days of the newspaper are kind of fading out. They are now all going live, and they have their live events. 
because they have their their channels and they're able to distribute through that. People are no longer willing to wait until five o'clock when the newspaper comes. So you have to stay up to date and listen to those people. So I ask you, if you're in this room, go ahead and follow me and follow Rick uh, and follow anybody else who you feel that can bring you and help you get to the next level. If you're a podcaster, listen carefully to what I said. I gave you the formula. You put out a podcast like we're doing right now. You do not worry who's in the audience. And what you do is you give it your all. People will hear that. And then you send it out and syndicate it. Guys, it's that simple. And you can make a tremendous amount of money. Now listen carefully. Rick Party. He is a voiceover talent coach. He speaks. He does public speaking just like I do. But he also teaches voice classes. He teaches people in real life. So if you're wondering what voiceover is and you think you have a unique voice, there's a reason why he got on 104.3 Jams in Chicago and 101 in Seattle. There's a reason. Sports Center on ESPN. See, when you listen to Rick right now, you wouldn't know those things. But if you listen to way, the way he said it, he just gave you the formula for success. So my dear friends, I ask you, to replay this broadcast, share it with your friends, and understand that we are showing you the way to get listeners and to make money.